Hi and hello to everyone. I am Ganesh, History Faculty at Shankara Is Academy. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. In this present situation where the COVID-19 is spread across the globe, I think this is the right time to discuss about the history of pandemic. The diseases have ravaged the human civilization and humanity. Even it pushed the human civilization to the near end, but it was not so. The human civilization have continued its progress till date. Let me go to the video session that is the history of pandemic. First, we need to know what is mean by pandemic. Pandemic means the spread of a disease to a wider geographical region is called as pandemic. For example, COVID-19, which is spread across the entire globe. So that's why it is called as pandemic. Very recently, in the northeast of China, in a place called Hamin Manga, the Chinese archaeologists have excavated the place. When they're excavating a particular place, they were shocked to see a lot of human skeletons are found in a particular place. When they examined those human skeletons, those skeletons were invariably of young, middle and elderly aged people. So they took the samples of those skeletons and the soils of those places and they put it into the further investigation. They found that because of some kind of disease, the people have put the dead bodies in the particular place and they have abandoned the place 5,000 years before the birth of the Jesus Christ. So China is the country which was known for prehistoric epidemic in the world. Next, the plague of Athens. Here, plague means disease, not plague disease. In those days, diseases is also called as, they mentioned as plague. In present Greece, 500 years before the birth of Jesus Christ, there were two kingdoms. One was Sparta and the other one was Athens. These Spartans and Athens were always war with each other. So the Athens people, in order to protect the people and the city from the Spartans, they built a huge wall around their cities to protect themselves. It was called as Long Wall. On one of the occasion, the Spartans went for war with the Athens. When the Athens came to know about the arrival of the Spartans, they were went behind the wall. The siege continued for many months. Quickly, among the Athens people and the Athens soldiers, they felt their head was heated, they felt the fever in their body, their throat and tongue was inflammated. Quickly, death was fallen over them. This kind of disease was spread quickly among the entire Athens people and the soldiers. The disease spread to the entire Athens city. It continued for few months. And the Athens people were died because of this, including the Athens soldiers. Because of this disease, the Athens soldiers were dying and the Athens army was weakened because of this. This was came to know for the Spartans who was waiting outside the wall and they break the walls of the Athens and they entered into the Athens city and they have destroyed the Athens city and killed all the Athens soldiers and the people and they captured the Athens city. So, one of the factors that was responsible for the fallen of the Athens was this disease and that was a victory for the Spartans. In the later time, the scientists want to know what kind of disease that it was, but they cannot able to identify particularly what is a kind of a disease. 
they felt it may be a viral disease which was spread among the Athen people, which was responsible for the fall of the Athens city during the time. Next, the plague of Justin. In present Turkey, 600 years after the birth of Jesus Christ, there were an empire called Byzantine Empire. It is also called as Eastern Roman Empire, simply called as Romans. Its capital was Constantinople, which was ruled by a king with the name Justin. Near the Byzantine Empire, there was another empire that is called as the Sassanian Empire or the Persian Empire. The geographical countries which present covering the Byzantine and the Persian Empire was present Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Turkey and Southeast Europe. This was the Byzantine Empire which was existed before 600 years. And the Sarsin Empire was half of Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan and the Pakistan very nearer to the Indus River. This was the Persian Empire. These Byzantine Empire and the Sassan Empire was always with war with each other. On one of the occasion, the Byzantines, that is the Romans, the Romans went for war with the Persians. They defeated the Persians in that war. In Persia, they collected a lot of valuables like gold, silver. Most particularly, the Romans were collected the food grains from the Persia. On their way returning to Constantinople, they collected food grains from Egypt and they went to Constantinople. They victoriously entered into the Constantinople. The celebration continued for months in Constantinople. They don't know. They were carried a disaster within themselves. The disaster, what they carried within themselves was the disease of plague because of the rats which was present in the food grains that was there in the food grains. Constantinople was one of the urbanized city during the time. It was present in Delhi, Mumbai and Chennai and densely populated region. The rodents were hibernating there and the rodents spread those diseases among the common people which was densely populated in the Constantinople. Quickly, the plague spread among the Constantinople people. From the Constantinople, it spread to the rest of the Byzantine Empire and the nearby empire of the Sassanian Empire. And day by day, the death was mounted in the Constantinople and in the Sassanian Empire. The church conducted the special prayers and but it was unable to control the disease. Day by day, thousands and thousands of people were died because of this plague. This plague was considered to be as a first pandemic in the history. Because of this, what happened in the history was the economy of the Byzantine Empire was weakened. And because of this, the Iranian Empire was also weakened because of this one. So this plague disease had completely weakened the empires of the Sassanians and the Byzantine Empire. Next, the Black Death, the first world pandemic and also the most which brought disasters to the world, which was spread in the 14th century. The origin point of this Black Death was from the Central Asia. The merchants and the traders carried the goods from the Central Asia and they reached the Black Sea. From the Black Sea, they carried on goods the ships to Constantinople. From Constantinople, they carried on the goods to ships in the Mediterranean Sea and they reached Italy through the city of Naples, Rome, Venice. From that, the goods were distributed to the entire European continent, 
including Great Britain. In the goods which was distributed by the traders and merchants, the plague disease was there because of the rats and it quickly spread up across the entire European continent. It almost started from 1347 and it continued for many years and due to the spread of this plague disease, each and every city had the quarantine. The traders merchant has to have, when they come to the city, they have to quarantine themselves for 17 days in the city. But even, they, even though they put a lot of restrictions for the traders and merchants and quarantines for the traders and merchants, it was unable to restrict the spread of the disease to the entire European continent. And the people were died because of this plague disease. This plague had a size of a tennis ball size in the body and when they burst out, the blood started to ooze out from them. Quickly, it brought death to the people. Every city faces the death because of this dreaded plague disease. Even the church conducted the special prayers for this, but it was unable to control the spread and the death of this disease. Every government appointed a doctors that was called plague doctors. And that plague doctors have a peculiar type of mask to protect themselves when they were treating the plague patients. It was a bird's beak-like mask. In that beak, Either they have a scent to overcome the smell or they have medicine to overcome the infection. That mask is still protected in many of the European museums, even today. And what change is brought by this plague in the human history? Half of the world population were died because of this plague disease. There was no human to work in agriculture field or work there in the factories. Because of this, new inventions and discoveries were emerged in the 15th and 16th century. Those inventions and discoveries laid the foundations for the modern machines. And that modern machine age, we called it as an industrial age. That is what we called it as an industrialization. So because of this black death, that it resulted in the form of a emergence of the industrial ages and the industrialization in the history. Next, the American plague. Here, the American means North America, Central America, and the South America. All these were collectively called as a American. This American plague was spread in the North, Central, and the South America in the 16th century. In those South America, Central America and North America, many indigenous peoples were lived. They were the Inca empires, the Mayan empires, and the Aztec empires. These were the civilization which was existed there. Around 15,000 to 1550, many Europeans started to migrate to the South America, Central America, and North America and they came to settled there. Those indigenous people like Aztecs, Mayans, and the Inca people have welcomed those Europeans who came as a settlers there. They give a lot of valuable gift to those European settlers, but they don't know. Those Europeans are carrying a disaster within themselves with them. These Europeans who came settled there, few of the people have cluster of the European diseases like smallpox, chickenpox, tuberculosis, malaria, and many other diseases. We know that the tribal people have less immune system and they're very vulnerable to any diseases. When these outsiders, that is the Europeans, came and settled there quickly, the infection got into the tribal peoples and it spread among them. Within a century, half of the entire indigenous peoples of the 
North America, Central America, and South America were tied, and it was very easy for the Europeans to capture the the rest of the people, and they made them as a slave, and they captured the North America, Central America, and South America. As a result of this disease, the North America, Central America, and South America become colonies of the Europeans. That is a colonization of the Europeans in North America and South America. Next, the Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920. It was spread during the time of the World War I. We know that the World War was the first war which was saw by the human civilization, a major war which brought a lot of disasters to the human civilization. In the First World War, the soldiers were fought in the trench. That was a small trench-like area where the soldiers have to leave the sleep there and they have to fight there. The life of a people was there in the trench itself. During the time of the war, thousands and thousands of soldiers were wounded and a lot of infections was within them. And another thing was the soldiers were restricted with small amount of food. The food was rationed to them. They were not fully nutritious among themselves because of the rationing of the food. Because of this, the immune systems of the soldiers were very weak. Wound and the less immune system because of the malnourishment among the soldiers were, were resulted in the form of the flu among the soldiers. The flu was first pointed out, founded in the American soldiers. From American soldiers, it was spread to the entire European soldiers and from that, it spread across the uh, Middle East and Asia. When the World War, First World War was near to the end, the entire world was spread with the flu and that was the Spanish flu. By the end of the Second World War, by the end of the First World War, the Spanish flu was spread across the entire world. Every government have a lot of restrictions for the people during the time of the Spanish flu. That was to maintaining the social distance, maintaining the personal hygienic system. When they came out of the house, they have to wear a mask to protect themselves. Even the government have a public notice issued where the schools, the churches, theaters, and private halls and the amusements were completely closed on until further notice. Why this name Spanish flu was there? Is it is because of bad thing? Everyone thought that because of Spain, this flu was spread. No, that it was not. That is a wrong. During the time of the First World War, lot of press restriction was for every country. Spain was the only country where freedom of press was there. They liberally published about the flu, how the death count was there. Because of this, it was called a Spanish flu. Next, H1N1 swine flu of 2009, 2010. The swine flu was one of the pandemic. It was spread from the swine, a viral-like infection, and it was spread among the human population. Any people who have the symptom, loss of appetite, have high fever, headache, and muscle pain. Even they have the running nose, nausea and diarrhea. These were the symptoms of the swine flu. The origin of the swine flu was from Mexico. It quickly spread from Mexico to the North America and South America. From North America to South America, it spread to Europe and Asia and Australia. So it was, a, it was one of the epidemic which was considered to be as a pandemic in the 21st millennium. Even, not only the swine flu, even, we have the Zika virus and the Ebola virus, which is also considered to be as a pandemic. 
the diseases have completely pushed the civilization to the near end of the brick. But the human civilization have never bogged down of these devastation. It always bounces back and continued its progress till date. Thank you for watching this video.